Let's talk about drinking again when we come out, all right? Okay, fine. Here it comes. Beautiful. Classic Sinatra on WCNY's Classic FM. Some great love songs from the chairman. And that leads us to Mr. Ray Hill's favorite tune, as he <laughs> defined it not long ago on our program. What is it about this tune that, that gets to you? Well, it's that you give me a free bottle of liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Only top shelf for you, my friend. Only top shelf. You're too good to me. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is one of those simple songs that you know you could probably hear at any uh, bar or saloon, and and, oh, yeah. and probably hear people with you know gravelly voices and awful pitchy, yeah. just kind of. And he turns it into something that's so memorable. That's right. Uh, Sinatra called it a throwaway song. Hardly a throwaway song in the legend of all that he has recorded. Here's drinking again on Classic Sinatra. Great song, great song. I'm on the bike, I'm gonna do 30 minutes here. And, um, but yeah, that was my internship, that first couple clips that we watched. Uh, I help record a radio show, it's a pre-recorded show, but we record it live, and it's called the Sinatra Classics, on Sunday morning with Leo Ray Hill. So, it's a really nice opportunity. So I didn't get much of a chance to vlog today. It's actually been snowing really bad, so I didn't want to have my my phone out because I'm filming with my phone, and I didn't want it to get wet from all the snow. I went to class. I was actually falling asleep in class. I don't know why. That computer class is so boring. I've said that before on this vlog. That computer class is like excruciating to get through. And now I'm working out. I was feeling like kind of tired, but I ate a couple of meals so far. This morning I had oatmeal, and then. For lunch, I had uh, some apples, raisins, and some of those matzo crackers. So I got plenty of carbohydrates and simple sugars to fuel me through a workout. So I did back and traps. I was going to do some arms maybe, but I decided I'll do arms a different day. And now it's time to have some oatmeal. I'm a little pissed because I didn't get my full 30 minutes in on the bike. I went ahead and did 25 because I got a really bad cramp, and I think it's because I have to poop. So I skipped the last five minutes and I'm making oatmeal and then I have to catch the bus. Yeah, I'm going to probation, then I'm going to outpatient and had a pretty good workout, you know, did what I could in the moment. It's all we can do, I guess. Man, this water in here. These microwaves are pretty convenient. Okay, so I dressed this up with some sugar and some raisins. I'm actually gonna eat it on the go. That's usually what I do with my oatmeal because I'm always in a rush and I never give myself enough time to eat in the gym. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat this on the way over to the, uh, to the bus stop here. I'm probably like the only dude on campus that eats oatmeal on the go. Sometimes I just walk all the way to the other side of the campus which actually cools it down because I'm in the I'm outside with all the, the open air but um it's way too hot okay well I thought it was snowing it was snowing earlier today and within the last couple hours it melted so that's nice that's always a plus so my walk to and from probation and to uh, outpatient won't be that bad today. So I guess I'll turn the camera back on when I get out of my session, just to let you guys know what we talked about and probably cut this vlog a little bit shorter and get this up for you guys as soon as possible. So I'm walking out of probation. I've got my pass so I can leave for the weekend. Let me make sure he signed it too before I leave. Yes, he did sign it. So now I'm going to um, gonna go hang out with my parents for the weekend. Let's cross the road. I'm gonna help my dad out with some stuff and they got Wi-Fi so I can do some live broadcasting. You guys wanna see the jail? 
That's the jailhouse right there. I've spent all together probably close to a year in that facility. All right, off to outpatient. Uh, so I don't know if you can tell, but it is snowing. So I don't want to stay on camera too long. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. But um, in my outpatient session, we didn't talk about a whole lot that was like super important, except for the fact that we are talking about, we made a discharge plan. So we're talking about discharge. Now I'm not gonna be discharged like next week or next month, but you know, it, the time came up where we had to have the conversation about what is the goal, you know, am I meeting my goals so far? You know, one of the big things that is really good is I made it back to school. I'm volunteering, interning. So there's a lot of good things. You know, eventually my time's gonna come where I won't be going to treatment anymore. And it'll probably be within six months from now. The plan is to, I go there two times a week right now. The plan is in March to probably drop down to one time a week. And then after a while, every other week and then once a month, and that would be the end of it. Uh-oh, something's going on. It rolled right up here. Maybe it's that dude? I don't know. Let's get the fuck out of here. So thank you so much for watching this vlog, I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to my main channel, it is youtube.com slash the vegan cheetah. Most of you are probably subscribed. Oh, and we made it to 200 subscribers. I think we're at like 206, 207 now. So thank you so much for subscribing. It really means a lot. Let's go for 300. So as always, until next time, may the stars be aligned in your favor.